Hello everyone and welcome back to Storytime with Scotia in my little story corner I've made. It is lovely to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm especially excited tonight because we are reading The Tiger Who Went to Tea or Who Came to Tea. I'm very excited because it's a little bit of an older book but it's actually got the most beautiful drawings and it is so funny and it's got some very interesting characters. So I hope you're snuggled down tight and ready to read with me. Good to go. All right, let's do it. This is the tiger that came to tea. <clears throat> Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Who could it be, I wonder? Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be a milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had a tiger come to your dinner table? It's a bit wild, isn't it? <laughs> Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And still he looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. <laughs> but again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all of the milk in the milk jug and all of the tea in the teapot. He's going to eat and drink everything in their house. <laughs> and then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. <laughs> he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all of the food in the fridge. Oh dear. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Oh no! And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's drink and all the water in the tap. Oh my goodness. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, oh, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for supper. The tiger's eaten it all. Oh no. And Sophie found that, and Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all of the water in the tap. How's that even possible? Just then Sophie's daddy came home. Oh no, there's gonna be nothing to eat. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink in the house. And Sophie's daddy said I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. Oh, page four now. That's what happens when you have a beautiful old book. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. Be very careful with this page. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. How good does that sound? In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to eat again. <laughs> Hold on, I'll pop it down here for a second. But he never did. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's when he's playing on the, on the trumpet. On the trumpet. <laughs> What a funny book. What would you do if a tiger rocked up at your house wanting some food? Be a bit scary, actually, I think, in real life, but this book's very funny. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope that you are all snuggled in and tucked down ready for sleep, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.